Welcome back guys, it's Dr. Somji. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most searched things on YouTube, it's fungal acne. What are the causes of fungal acne? How do you know you have it? How to treat it and how you can prevent it? I'm going to answer all of those questions for you, so stay tuned. So, what's the cause of fungal acne? It's a buildup of a certain type of yeast called Melesesia yeast. This is a fungus that can build up in the skin. Now, let's take it a step back because things like funguses, bacteria, live on the skin in natural harmony. They are what we call essentially, well, uh, they're complementary to our skin. So that if you've got the right amount of certain bacteria, right amount of yeast, etc., these all sit together in a nice harmonious environment and it means your skin functions nicely. If that environment is suddenly shifted, i.e. if you've taken antibiotics, you've got a change in environment, like humidity, all of these things suddenly change. And if you get a buildup of yeast, and specifically Melesesia yeast, then suddenly you're gonna get symptoms of fungal acne. So it's around, it's about, well, it's for you really to actually just change that. Even things like diet can cause it as well. So increase in yeast in diet, for instance. So how do you know that you have fungal acne? Well, it can present very similar to acne and a lot of people confuse it. So if you've got normal sort of, let's say, uh, adult acne, you've got different types of lesions. You might have pus-filled spots, you might have blackheads, differing sizes, you might have uh, signs of congestion. But with fungal acne, they're pus-filled and they tend to be all around the same size. And if you look very closely when I'm examining patients, I see that they're normally related to a hair follicle and they tend to be very itchy. So if you've got itchy acne with same size pus filled um, uh, lesions, then actually you may have fungal acne. So always go to a professional to get it diagnosed. Sometimes I take some skin scrapings um, within examination and we send it off to a lab to confirm the presence of fungal acne, but it tends to be a clinical diagnosis that can be easily diagnosed by the right professional. So how do you treat it? Well, you see all of these things on uh, TikTok, Instagram about, hey, I used uh, dandruff shampoo on my face and my acne's cleared and my acne never, when well, acne was never treated by anything else. Well, those people are really lucky because unknowing to them, they probably had fungal acne and they used dandruff shampoo, which contains something called pyrithion zinc, which is fantastic for reducing the fungal uh, infection that you've got. So, and it helps maintain it. So definitely using things like Nizaral shampoo are great for if you are diagnosed with fungal acne. And I normally tell patients to put that on the face, wash it, uh, wash with, with these uh, shampoos, put that on the face, let it sink in for about five, 10 minutes, and then wash off. The medication that I always prescribe and I find to be the most effective for fungal uh, acne is ketoconazole. It's available as a cream, uh, based formulation in the UK and also a tablet based formulation as well. So if it's spread into areas such as the back, arms, which are also very common, chest area, I prescribe both topical ketoconazole as well as um, oral ketoconazole in, in the form of tablets. Now, how can you prevent fungal acne from building up? Well, clothing. So if you're wearing very, very tight clothing and you go to the gym a lot and you don't immediately shower and dry the skin, then you're gonna, ha you're gonna end up creating an environment where this yeast can actually thrive and you'll get more of a fungal infection. Um, if you don't use dandruff shampoo, maybe once a week. So for example, if you've been diagnosed with fungal, a fungal infection, it will kind of always be there because it's supposed to be there, but you don't want it to increase. So if you've already previously had an overgrowth, and you've been treated for it, always just dampen it by using a dandruff shampoo over the body or affected areas once a week. Also limit kind of humidity. So if you're sleeping in a very humid atmosphere, so you don't open the windows, you don't allow air circulation, this can affect it neg negatively as well. And don't wear old gym clothing as well. So some people just wear whatever they wear in a gym, don't wash it and then put it back on you're asking for problems there. So what products over the counter can help you if you've got fungal acne and you can't see a doctor like myself very soon? Well, we've just talked about it. You can use dandruff shampoo, such as Nizaral shampoo. That's fantastic as a first line. You can use azelaic acid, which, can, which reduces inflammation, can help 
decongest the pores as well as reduce the amount of sensitivity that you get. You can also use some probiotic skincare. And remember, we, we talked about why this occurs, that nice environment, that balance between your microbiome suddenly is disturbed and the yeast, yeast just comes up to the surface. So probiotic skincare is fantastic. And I've researched a few. There's Mother's Dirt Spray, which is actually really, really nice. And then I have to recommend a product made in England called Aurelia, which is a probiotic concentrate, which I think contains some nice ingredients that can really help stabilize your microbiome within your skin. And then secondly, and the most important thing is, eat the rainbow. So eat your greens, eat your vegetables, eat these things that will help with your microbiome within your body. Because if you're healthy inside, you'll also be healthy outside. So there's a summary. Fungal acne, it's got a few pathognomic features. Like we said, it's really easy to diagnose when you know what you're looking for. There's a few really nice points about using things like Nisrael shampoo that are fantastic um, for, for acne. And also, uh, there's some over-the-counter products that we've also recommended that, that are also fantastic for controlling it. But more, more than that, it's all about your environment. So make sure you wear the right clothing, do the right practices in terms of cleaning of the body, and also look out for any small changes within your skin. So if there's anything that you want me to talk about, just let me know. If there's any clarification about fungal acne or any other products that you've seen that may be good for fungal acne, let me know too uh, in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe because that's really important and also click that bell because if you don't click that bell, you won't know when new videos come out.